In Scala, a higher order function is a function which takes another function as an argument. A higher order function describes how the work is to be done in a collection. Let's learn the higher order function map. The map applies the function to each value in the collection and returns a new collection. Say we have a list of integers 3, 7, 13 and 16 and we want to add one to each value in the list. Using higher order function map, we can map over the list and add one to each value. As displayed on the screen, we have a new list with the values 4, 8, 14 and 17. Let's do a hands-on. Define a list of integers 1, 2 and 3. Type where list equals list with capital L bracket 1, 2, 3 bracket closed. Let's add 1 to each element using the map function. To define a map function, type list dot map bracket x equals greater than x plus 1. Press enter. As you can see, we have a new list with the integers 2, 3 and 4. Here, map function added 1 to every value in the list. For every value x in the list, x plus 1 is calculated. There's another syntax to define map, where instead of giving a name to every value being used in the function, we use a placeholder underscore to represent the value. Let's learn the higher order function flat map. Flat map takes a function as argument and this function must return a collection. Collection could be empty. A flat map is called on a collection itself. The flat map applies the function passed to it as argument on each value in the collection just like map. The returned collections from each call of a function are then merged together to form a new collection. Let us understand it with an example. Let's define a list of languages. Type where list equals list python comma go. Here we have a list of strings. A string is nothing but a sequence of characters. Define a flat map. Type list dot flat map bracket lang equals greater than lang plus double quotes hash. Flat map appends hash to every string in the list and then flattens it down to the string of characters. As you can see on the screen, hash is appended to Python and Go. And then Python hash and Go hash have been broken down into sequence of characters. We can also define the same function using the following syntax. Flat map bracket underscore plus hash bracket where the underscore is a placeholder for each value in the list. So as we can see that the size of output collection could be larger than the size of input collection. While in case of map, the input and output collections were of the same size. Let's learn the higher order function filter. Filter applies a function to each value in the collection and returns a new collection with the values that satisfy a condition specified in the function. Let's understand it with an example. Say we have a list of languages Scala, R, Python, Go and SQL. To filter out languages which contain capital S, type list.filter lang equals greater than lang dot contains s. As you can see, we have a new list now with only Scala and SQL as the values. Each of the previous higher order functions returned a new collection after applying the transformation or filter. But at times, we do not want the functions 
to return a new collection. It is a waste of memory resources on JVM if we do not want a return value. Higher order function such as for each allows us to apply a function to each value of a collection without returning a new collection. Let us say we have a list of values 1 and 2 and we just want to print each value in the list. We can use for each for this kind of scenario as we do not require an output value. To use for each higher order function, type list dot for each bracket println bracket closed. As you can see, the values 1 and 2 are printed on the screen. Let's learn higher order function reduce. Reduce is a very important concept in the MapReduce world. Let us say we have a list and we would like to compute its sum. Let's understand it with an example. We have a list of integers 3, 7, 13 and 16. In our example, reduce adds the first two elements 3 and 7 which results in 10 and then adds 10 to the next element which is 13 resulting in 23. Then it adds 23 to 16. So the final result of the reduce function is 39, which is the total of 3, 7, 13 and 16. So in this example, the addition of two variables has been called again and again until all of the values are reduced into a single value. Please note that in case of reduce, the data types of all the input elements as well as the output element should be same. Let's do a hands-on. We have a list of integers 3, 7, 13 and 16. Let's define a reduce function to add the elements. Type list.reduce bracket again bracket x comma y bracket closed equals greater than x plus y bracket closed. As we can see that the result is 39. Here, the reduce function takes two values named x and y and adds them. We can also define the reduce function using list.reduce bracket underscore plus underscore bracket closed. Here, the two underscores are placeholders for the two values. 